What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, showing you guys an excellent duel with the new Mythic Radiant Dragon cards coming out in Maximum Crisis. So this is basically a new archetype that feels kind of retro, and it feels kind of retro because it focuses around a field spell that counts as Umi. Now, Umi is a super old card. It was a field spell that was supposed to, you know, kind of support water monsters, basically all water monsters, and way back when in Feral Servant with, like, the legendary fisherman. If you guys have ever seen, like, those duels from the original um, Yu-Gi-Oh! animated series with like Joey versus like Mako Tsunami and stuff like that. It goes all the way back and then Konami made another card called like the, um, what's it called? A Legendary Ocean which counted as Umi and now they've made another card that counts as Umi and throughout the years they've made a bunch of monsters that work with uh, Umi and you know all of these field spells count as Umi and this is kind of like the new iteration of that deck. Now this one revolves around normal monsters but there's actually a lot more going on than just a bunch of vanilla monsters and, you know, summoning tokens. And there's a couple of cool things that this deck and this new archetype can actually do. For one, the traps can be activated from the hand during either player's turn, which is really cool because it means that your opponent is not going to see a lot of the shit that uh, you're basically throwing at them because you never have to put the cards on the field. And it makes it a lot less susceptible to things like MST and Twin Twister. Like, they have their own Regeki Break, which is this card. And it's really good because it's actually actually searchable as well they have another trap that's basically a fiendish chain slash it's like a fiendish chain and a shrink kind of built into one card so i'm going to go ahead and roll this and i'm just going to really explain what's going on at the top he's playing against ddds you guys know ddds like you know uh Simon kepler and formula synchron lord dark like you guys know all of this basic stuff now what's really cool is the field spell like any time that your opponent activates an effect when the field spell is up as long as you don't control any um as long as you don't have any tokens you actually get a free token and it's not like a little scapegoat token or something like that i'm gonna show you you see here he just he just plays the field spell which you need the field spell pretty much at all times because it counts as umi and uh, he sets a dimensional barrier it's just like it's not that you think it's not really that strong of a play but it is right so here's what happens right so Copernicus is going to activate. Now, since he doesn't have any tokens, his field spell is going to jump in and say, hey, well, you activated an effect. I'm going to give this guy a token. And the thing is, whenever you summon exactly one normal monster while you have this field spell up, you actually get to add a dragon or a mythic dragon radiance card, which means you can search the Infernity Break. You can search the Fiendish Chain slash Shrink built into one card. You can search some of the equips. I believe you can even search another copy. No, this isn't a dragon card. I was going to say, yeah, you could even search a another copy of the field spell no you can't so he's gonna actually what's it called and it's cool because it activates on tokens which is great now look at this right you see this guy tries to twin twister him he's like oh i'm just gonna get rid of your field spell i'm gonna get rid of your back row i'm just gonna go ahead and twin twister you look as he activates all of these cards from his hand we get a chain link five at this point and he just nukes his entire board because he actually controls the normal monster which is his token and he controls the umi which is uh you know uh what's it called his field spell city of mythic radiance so he basically is able to nuke his entire board with his opponent having no idea that that shit was coming and what's really cool is this equip card so this equip card gives is uh it gives this token 500 attack you equip it to a normal monster you give it 500 attack and if that normal monster actually runs something over you summon this big ass monster from the deck and the equip card re-equips itself in the battle phase to the new monster like that is some that is like some unheard of have you ever heard of a card being able to do that during the battle phase like it's on one monster and then it re-equips itself onto another monster so it means that you have had the chance of getting like the it, the monster only gains 500 damage or 500 attack but you have the chance of doing that 500 twice and when you actually blow up a monster or you run over a monster you do a thousand battle damage as well so you see he's able to bring out his really big uh, mythic radiance dragon it's 2900 but it is you know it does gain 500 attack now his opponent does end up scooping because he drew a solemn warning but even if you look at this field you might think, oh, Cap, well, his field isn't really that strong because he doesn't have any cards to protect him, but that's actually not correct. This card right here, this is actually the Phoenix chain that I was talking about. It says, if all monsters you control are normal monsters, obviously he has a token and a normal uh, target one effect monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. It loses a thousand attack and defense and has its effects negated. If Umi is on the field, you can activate this card from your hand. So that's really cool because you can basically play defense while having a bunch of cards in hand 
and you guys know that things like max c only make that a lot better because you activate max c and your opponent's like oh what the fuck are you gonna do all your cards are in your hand little do they know you're drawing phoenix chains and you know infernity breaks and you're ready to just none of these cards are once per turn either so you can just activate them just keep activate them uh keep activating them as you draw them so i think this deck is actually really interesting and if you guys haven't guessed by now, since you are running a lot of normal water monsters, obviously Bahamut Shark and Totally Awesome come into play. Uh, you actually might see people start playing, well, this version actually plays like seven colored fish and just a bunch of vanillas. And then you throw on like Rescue Rabbit so that you can instantly go into Totally Awesome. It's just a very interesting take on normals and uh, like water support because I kind of thought that Konami was done with like the Umi clones, but this might be the best one yet. So you guys let me know what you think. And I'll probably do an in-depth discussion on these cards. Or you know what? Nah, I'll probably just do what's it called. I'll probably try and do more uh, videos with this deck so that I can just kind of show it. Um, so I can just kind of show you guys it in action so that you guys just get a better visual understanding. Because it's one thing to kind of tell what the cards do. And then it's another thing to actually show you what they can do. But it's kind of crazy because when is the last time you've seen a deck that kind of revolves around just normal monsters and like summoning tokens? Like there's not a lot of tokens. Not, not a lot of token decks. I just like the fact that when you summon a token, you instantly get the plus off the token. It's not just getting a token and getting a sizable monster, but you instantly get to search any of your mythic dragon like uh, radiance cards, and that's really good when you can search a Phoenix Chain or a Regeki Break straight from your deck. So you guys, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, as always.